The little girl and her family took care of a litter of wolf pups and never expected this to happen just a few months later. Elsa's parents are very loving to her, they also own a farm and a large piece of land. They kept a goat and many chickens near the barn, and in the fields further afield they kept dozens of sheep. There was only one thing missing from the couple, but after several years of trying, they finally had beautiful baby Elsa. Elsa had some troubles in the first few years of her life as mom and dad adjusted to their new lifestyle. Working on a farm means early mornings and long hours. This posed a challenge for the couple as Elsa was a toddler and needed a lot of attention. She is very caring and funny, but she has a hard time learning to talk and can become picky if things are not done consistently. For example, she always brushes her teeth after breakfast. They were a little late for the barn and fields one morning, so dad packed a breakfast for her to eat outside, and then he tried to get her to brush her teeth before they left the house. But this caused a huge crash. When Elsa was about three years old, her mother took her to see a doctor for a checkup. She wants to make sure Elsa can learn to talk so she can start school next year. If she's diagnosed as nonverbal, then at least mom and dad can start working on other forms of communication, like sign language. The doctor assured her that Elsa would eventually learn to talk, she just had to go at her own pace. Still, they ran some tests, and after months of trial and error, they finally officially diagnosed Elsa with autism. The whole family was thrilled with the diagnosis. In some ways, parents worry that their daughters will struggle in life and relationships. But, on the other hand, they take comfort in having a better understanding of their child's needs. Elsa was perfect in her parents' eyes, and they loved her more than anything in the world. No matter what the world labels her, with the help and resources provided by doctors, mom and dad have changed their lives to better accommodate Elsa. The biggest shift they had to make was sticking to a consistent schedule. Elsa does better when her life is organized the way she expects it to be, and her life becomes more stable as the routine goes on. Given the amount of time and work required to run a farm, moms and dads have to get creative in their day-to-day -day routines. Dad has to come home at lunchtime every day so he can pick up Elsa and head out into the fields. The little girl enjoyed an afternoon outdoors, and the sheep seemed to like her. Dad was very surprised to see the way Elsa got along with the animals. It's as if there is a direct kinship between his daughter and any animal she meets. There is something in her nature that communicates care and openness to animals. The connections she made superseded words and the need for much communication. This girl is a miracle. Mom and Dad noticed that Elsa's quality of life improved a lot after she started spending more time with the animals. Clearly, she has talent, and they choose to cultivate it. Soon, Elsa's circle of animal friends expands to include collies, goats, and all the chickens. She is passionate about spending time with animals and finds it soothing. As she got a little older, mom and dad started delegating some of the easier farm work to her. She is good at feeding the animals and really enjoys the consistency of doing these chores at the same time every day. Elsa is talkative at this point and does well in school. Mom and dad feel very proud. That summer, they chose to show Elsa how to fish. There is a nice creek on the edge of the property they frequent. The current is so strong that parents seldom swim in it, and Elsa has never tried to swim there because of her small size. However, they can stand on shore and catch fish with their nets, so fishing has become a new family hobby. A few times a week, Elsa goes fishing in the stream with her parents. It was a fair trek to get there, and they had to cross fields and then through forests to reach the stream. That summer, Elsa traveled back and forth across the land and found that there were a lot of wild animals living there. Besides farm animals, there are many other plants and animals on this land. One magical morning, Elsa and her father are walking home through the forest after fishing at the stream. They walked quietly when the wind brought a faint cry, which was their norm. Both of them were stunned. Did they really just hear it? After a while, they heard voices again. Then the cries began to overlap. 
Elsa and her father looked at each other without speaking, but decided to go to the sound to investigate. Dad saw it first. He stretched out his arms sideways calmly, signaling Elsa not to walk anymore. She stood her ground and looked up and down the woods, looking for something that caught her father's attention. She lowered her head, unable to believe her eyes. Four puppies snuggled up between the roots of a tree, cooing. They are so small that they don't seem to be able to fully open their eyes yet. Elsa asked her dad if those were wild dogs, and he giggled. In a sense, he replied. He quietly explains to Elsa that the puppies are not actually dogs, but their ancestors, wolves. However, he told her that he had never seen anything like it. Where is the puppy's mother? They're probably only a few days old, so by the laws of nature, she should be around. Elsa stays put and takes care of the cubs while dad goes looking for mom. He realized that he hadn't gone far before he encountered a she-wolf. She was dead, and her hind legs were covered in blood. Labor may be too much for her. Dad put some flowers near her head and said thank you. He returned to his daughter and gasped when he saw her. Elsa sat down beside the wolves, leaning her back against a tree trunk. All four puppies lay neatly on her lap. They stopped crying. The three seemed to be asleep, and Elsa gently stroked the other. These wolves lost their mother, but fate gave them a new one. So, Dad decided that they would not separate. He helped his daughter with the puppy all the way home. Elsa has set up a barn just for wolf cubs, and her parents have fed her some fresh goat milk. In this way, this little family had four wolves. They love Elsa so much that they follow her wherever she goes. Everyone is lucky that these wolves are around. It was unbelievable what they did one rainy day at the stream a few months later. Elsa is fishing with her dad. He dipped one foot into the water to reach the net across the stream, far from shore. Elsa tries to help him set the net, but the rain makes the rock she's standing on very slippery. Before she knew it, she had fallen into the water. Dad watched her flash by, and the current carried her downstream. He crawled back to shore and started chasing his daughter. He slipped and scraped badly on the edge of a rock. Panic gripped him until he looked up to see all four of their wolves rushing in front of Elsa. Wasting no time, they dived into the water, forming a dike not far in front of her. The water took her into their arms and they drove her back to the shore. Luckily Dad was there and pulled her to the ground where they were both lying panting. Dad could only think of one thing. He was incorrect before. Fate did not allow Elsa to save those wolf cubs. Instead, fate sent the cub to her rescue.